Years apart, hearts awaken. Download the Mobo Reader app to read the novel Years Apart, Hearts Awaken, full story online. Chapter 1, Divorce It was getting cold in Violet Midge in autumn. I'm eight weeks pregnant. The baby is Mr. Marshall's. Mrs. Marshall, Mr. Marshall loves me, not you. You're just his wife on paper. You and Mr. Marshall have been married for three years, but you don't have any kids yet. You don't deserve to be his wife at all. A woman dressed head to toe in designer brands barged inside the house, accompanied by two maids and three bodyguards. She looked down at Callie Marshall arrogantly. Sitting quietly on the sofa, Callie sighed and calmly returned the woman's gaze. Her expression was soft and gentle, and her voice was as smooth as velvet. And you are. Callie asked with a soft smile. The woman, Jocelyn Owen, was stunned. As the most popular star in the entertainment circle, she believed she had become a household name. How could this bitch not know her? Jocelyn gritted her teeth thinking that Callie was feigning ignorance on purpose. Jocelyn Owen, she spat angrily. Mrs. Marshall, please be sensible and sign the divorce agreement. Quit pestering Mr. Marshall. She looked at Callie domineeringly, but to her surprise, the latter looked almost leisurely. It was as though Callie didn't take her threat seriously at all. All of a sudden, Jocelyn became a little restless. Before she could say anything more, Callie stood up with a smile, but her eyes were devoid of warmth. Callie strutted over to Jocelyn and started to speak slowly. Miss Owen, just this year, over 30 women have come to me and told me that they're pregnant with Bellamy's child. Jocelyn's face changed. You're not the first, and you won't be the last. Callie was still smiling, which sent shivers down Jocelyn's spine. Jocelyn found it a little creepy when she heard Callie's flat chuckle. When Callie calmly put her hand on Jocelyn's belly, the latter subconsciously stepped back. W.H. What are you doing? Don't you dare try to hurt my baby. I know what you're thinking. Feeling uneasy, Jocelyn protectively covered her belly. Miss Owen, are you sure this child is Bellamy's? Callie's smile widened. Of course. Jocelyn said stubbornly. I see. Callie let out another lifeless chuckle. Miss Owen, you probably don't know this but Bellamy had a vasectomy in order to avoid troubles like this. But since you're so sure that the child is his, why not run a DNA test when you give birth to it? As you said, Bellamy and I don't have any children of our own, so the Marshall family is anxious to have an heir. We'll definitely treat you well if the child is Bellamy's. Hearing this, panic filled Jocelyn's eyes. But Miss Owen, if we find out you're lying, then... Callie's light-hearted tone took a dangerous turn. Her lazy, unhurried attitude suddenly disappeared, replaced with coldness. She stared daggers at Jocelyn, which made her tremble. Bellamy hates liars the most. Do you know what happens to those who lie to him? Callie stopped right in front of Jocelyn and said nothing more. Jocelyn wasn't as arrogant as before. With her head bowed, she turned around and left quickly. In essence, Callie just warned Jocelyn that she could make her vanish from Violet Midge without a trace. Seeing Jocelyn leave, Callie sighed quietly. She had gotten good at dealing with these troublemakers. There were always women who showed up to make trouble. 
Initially, Callie was scared of them. But now, she had learned how to deal with such troublemakers within ten minutes. Shooing them away was a piece of cake for her now, so she felt no sense of achievement at all at this moment. She lowered her head absent-mindedly, but after a while, she saw the silhouette of a familiar figure from the corner of her eye. It was none other than her husband, Bellamy Marshall. The man had obviously seen and heard everything. But he had simply watched the fun. He had no intention of stepping in. It was as though the situation wasn't caused by him in the first place. Without raising her head, Callie sneered silently. Suddenly, the figure came closer, and then a pair of strong arms grabbed her by the waist. The next moment, she was pressed against the man's firm, broad chest. The sickly sweet smell of tobacco wafted to her nose. Without raising her head, Callie knew that it was Bellamy. Honey, Callie greeted him in a soft voice. Bellamy stroked her hair. Did you visit your mom today? He was referring to Irene Howard. Recently, her condition had become quite unstable. She was confined to Rheingold Hospital at the moment. Callie nodded meekly. The next second, Bellamy turned her around to face him. He pressed his lips against hers. Callie didn't resist. On the contrary, she found herself wrapping her arms around the man's neck. Realizing this, she chastised herself for being so spineless. She couldn't even stop her body from reacting to him. The atmosphere suddenly changed. Remind me something, Callie. When exactly did I have a vasectomy, huh? Bellamy nibbled Callie's lower lip. Uh, Callie grunted awkwardly, averting her gaze. I had to come up with something to get rid of her. They had been married for three years but Callie knew that Bellamy was just using her. She had to take care of his family and deal with the women who pestered Bellamy, just like today. There was probably no love involved, but their sex life was always really great. Are you dissatisfied with me? Bellamy asked again. After a moment's silence, Callie shrugged nonchalantly. No, I don't dare. You don't like dealing with these women? Bellamy continued, still kissing her. It's just ten minutes of my life wasted. But they always resort to the same tricks. When will they give me a challenge? Callie pouted. Bellamy was speechless. Then he burst into angry laughter. He took it out on her by biting her lip again harder this time. The bite made Callie wince, but she didn't dare to make a sound. Feeling uncomfortable, she couldn't help but complain, you have so many side chicks. Why do you always come back and torture me? Why, Mrs. Marshall, are you jealous? Bellamy looked at Callie with amusement. Callie was speechless. How could she be jealous? Annoyed, she didn't answer his question. But Bellamy couldn't hold himself back at this point. He scooped her up and carried her to the master bedroom. The atmosphere was thick with sexual tension. It was chilly outside, but inside the room, the temperature kept rising. There seemed to be a lustful beast inside Bellamy's body that needed to be released. Afterwards, Bellamy let go of Callie and went to the bathroom directly. Honey? Callie suddenly called him. Bellamy stopped in his tracks and waited for her to say what she wanted to say. Biting her lips, Callie lowered her head hesitantly. Bellamy waited patiently. After a while, 
Callie opened her mouth again. Let's divorce. The man, who was calm just now, suddenly frowned darkly. What did you just say to me? Bellamy Marshall, let's divorce. Callie addressed him by his full name this time. Without saying a word, Bellamy turned around and walked towards Callie. He was born with an imposing manner. As he strode towards her domineeringly, she couldn't help but hold her breath. But her face remained expressionless. It wasn't until Bellamy was standing over her that she said calmly, I saw the news. She's back. Download the Mobo Reader app to read the novel Years Apart, Hearts Awaken, full story online.